Now with the record-breaking drought in Europe and what it's revealing, water levels across much of the continent are at the lowest they've been in centuries, and historical artifacts once submerged are now being uncovered. Our foreign correspondent, James Longman, is at the extraordinary site of one of them in Spain. Good morning again, James. Yeah, good morning, Michael. This is the Dolmen del Guadalperal, the Spanish Stonehenge. It is something like five to 7,000 years old. It's absolutely extraordinary, but we shouldn't be seeing it. It should be underwater. This entire area should have a much higher water level, and that is because there's a massive drought in Europe at the moment, the worst in 500 years. But it has meant some extraordinary discoveries. Monuments from the past warning us about our future. The Domen of Guadalperal in central Spain is a monolithic structure dating back some 3,000 years before Christ. Made up of 150 granite stones arranged in a circle, like the famous Stonehenge, there are all kinds of theories on what this mysterious place was for. Los hombros. Oh, it's, the, it's, a, it's a human. Exacto. Right, so this is the main stone at the front of the tomb, and it's anthropomorphic, so it's supposed to be in the shape of a human being. And on the front is a serpent, and that is thought it was on all kinds of tombs in the prehistoric era, and it was for protection. It's possible it was used as a solar temple or as a burial ground by prehistoric communities. Roman remains have also been found nearby. These stones were discovered about 100 years ago, but then in the 1960s, this whole area was flooded to make way for a reservoir. When the water recedes, archaeologists are thrilled. Climate scientists, not so much. They say it's a warning about dangerously high temperatures. Europe is in its worst drought in 500 years. France, Italy, Germany and the UK all issuing heat and drought warnings. Take a look in France, the greenery of August in Lyon last year compared to this. Farmers losing valuable land to drought and wildfires. Thousands losing lives and livelihoods, hitting crop harvests and driving up food prices. All across the continent, other discoveries show the scale of Europe's heat wave, like these 20 Nazi warships re-emerging from the retreating Danube River after decades under the surface. This ancient bridge revealed in Italy, built for the Emperor Nero nearly 2,000 years ago. And perhaps the most ominous sign, what are called hunger stones from the river Elba, carvings written to commemorate historic droughts. This one, carved in 1616, reads, If you see me, weep. Now, this reservoir is at just 23% capacity. Take a look. Everywhere you see sand, everywhere you see these sandy banks, right up to the tree line, that is where the water should be. And water scarcity is really serious. Obviously, for crops, farmers are unable to produce food. That sends food prices up for the rest of us. But we're all talking about energy. We're all trying to find ways to make cleaner and cheaper energy. And Europe uses water to generate energy a lot. They've got hydroelectric dams, nuclear power, and this summer, because of this drought, energy capacity has been really badly hit. So in so many ways, this weather, climate change, it just really badly affects our lives. Even though we get to see some incredible things, this really is a warning from the past. Guys. Yeah, the drought really is affecting us and you'd rather not see it. Yeah, an important exactly. story there, sure. Absolutely. Thank you so much, James. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.